can you make something using itself to make itself again from the same thing that you made it just from? <laughs> Let's find out. As a young bloke, when I started out with this dovetail journey, all I had to work with was this old rubber mallet. I was looking for a better mallet to use and had a thought. Could I make a dovetail mallet using a dovetail joint? Would it work? Could I even be able to use it? What would it even look like? It got me thinking, why do we as humans want to make things from the very thing they are made for making that thing? After dealing with that sentence, the first thing I could think of was just being creative. It can be a fun and challenging way to exercise creativity and problem solving skills. I mean, I got to learn new skills in this project, like making a tenon and jig for my table saw and using it to cut angles for dovetails. It looks super imposing at first and a bit sketchy, but after a few cracks at it, it's not that daunting of a process or a jig at all. I also learn about long grain joints. Long grain to long grain, like this mallet, is actually not a super smart way of making a functional joint. But who said this was going to be functional? You'll notice none of these dovetails are pretty either, and that's because of the long grain connection between them. And that's just the general trickiness of making them. I also made up glue boards for random shaped things and worked out how to make wedges with limited tools and machinery here. The main thing I did find out though was practicing dovetails can actually get quite boring after a while. I needed to break it up a bit and try something different and use different tools, including jumping back on the lathe and finding out what a turned dovetail may look like as well. Would it look like I thought it would look? Would it look better or worse or just different? There's no hiding mistakes here. And that's something people like to see. These joints aren't perfect. There's tear out, blow out, gaps. But they're gonna be a reminder of how far I've come this year in all my projects. So you'll probably see a massive difference between this video and my previous stool build. And yeah, it's another mallet video. There's a million mallet videos out there online that make all different types of mallets. But how many dovetail mallets are made using a dovetail joint? Why do we restrict ourselves to making such traditional pieces? or copy something someone else has already done. Like who's gonna care? They aren't using it, I am. And I think it was a pretty cool idea. Creativity is not about prettiness or cuteness. It is messy and often ugly. Creativity involves squeezing together two or more things from different fields that don't seem to belong with one another until something new pops out. And I reckon that's exactly what I got. End of the day, just challenge yourself every now and then and try something different. I don't know if it's gonna work or if it'll break on the first whack. I mean, I've had some bad luck with things breaking on the first try before. Break up the normality of it all and test yourself and maybe don't wait a year to finally edit a YouTube video about it and forget about why you did it in the first place. See you next time.